line up and start I... the rotors, please. All right, all right. Starting a rotor, dang it. Well, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another game in 31 Days of OP Games, and we're going back to the very beginning. Half-Life. Half-Life, man, it started the whole genre, first-person story. Kind of, you know, before then it was Quake and it was Doom, and there really wasn't much story involved. There was some story to Quake and Doom, but Half-Life really kind of set the, set the bar for it. So, Half-Life was named Game of the Year by over 50 publications. Um, Valve debuted the title Blending Action and Adventure with an award-winning technology to create a frightening, realistic world where players must think to survive. Um, so, you know, think about back in the time when all of this stuff was going on and Half-Life just came out. I mean, Half-Life was really pushing the edge. It was a huge change for first-person shooters at that time that were just all about bang bang shoot them up and kill them and half-life comes out on the market and it's like story 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 really in-depth involved uh first person shooter Justin, what's going on buddy it's got a uh, 96 metacritic review it's got um well i don't know how long it's been on steam but it's got uh, 6 000, 000, uh overwhelmingly positive reviews this thing has won so many awards it's not even funny um and we're gonna go ahead and play it it's been such a long time since I played this game. You guys let me know how the audio is. Uh, let's go ahead and go medium. And we'll get started. Now remember, Half-Life starts off with a story. So here we go. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8... 47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. Are you this like train is inbound from level three dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. All right, we're about to go down. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Now this game. Keep your limbs inside the train at all times. <laughs> I'll, I'll just wait for this to finish. <laughs> until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Thank you. 
Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your fitness. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruitment division. The Black Mesa Research Facility is an equal opportunity employer. Reminder to all Black Mesa personnel, regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, Contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. I just want to exiting the train. Be I'm... sure to check your area <laughs> for personal belongings. Thank you and have a very safe and productive day. Yeah, thank you. Morning, Mr. Freeman. What's going on, Gordon? Yep, sure am, buddy. Thanks, man. How you been? How's the wife and kids? Oh, you want to get the door? Can't stand here all day. Golden, what's going on, man? It's a very slick number punching there. Job. You close that. Thanks, bud. No worries. We're going back to the beginning here. We're exploring one of the probably most famous first-person games out there. Half-Life. When is Half-Life 3 coming out? I have no idea, but you know what? They need to do a Half-Life 3 because Half-Life 2 is fantastic. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Gotcha. It's one of those days, I guess. Yep. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. All righty, then. What's going on, bud? Einstein? Oh, where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I don't know, but you better find it. Quickly. Einstein, what's up, bro? Not talking. All right, Justin. Take it easy, buddy. They're working you to death over there. I have no doubt. You have no doubt about what? I mean, for 19... For another recalibration. You know... You repeat yourself sometimes. He does. You know, this is uh, 1996. And for 1996, man, it's it's still looking pretty good. Where was the hazardous suit? Have you seen my coffee cup? Uh, I haven't. Don't spill it on the computer. was just delivered to the test chamber. Good morning, Gordon. What's up? Where's my, uh, where's my hazard suit? Oh, gotta watch out for that guy. Can't go in there. 
Hello there. Hey, you see my hazard suit? No? Alright, we'll keep Greetings. working on keep working on that problem there. Up Stein. Wouldn't it be fantastic to get some pure readings for a change? It would be. Out oh, please, thank you. Bullet facility. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Alright. Thank you, sir. It's not in there. Gotta be done here. Hello. What's up, buddy? Greetings. Uh, cola machines in the fritz. What I heard. All right. Well, see you guys later. Go your coffee break. Ah, oh, yes. There we go. Um, let's see here. Uh. Ah. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Um, because. Let's see. Not my hazard suit. But I think that's a, a power for my hazard suit. I think that was one of the developer's kids. Just had a baby or something like that. Oh, here's my hazard suit. It's been a long time. Fire it up. Oh, I think I need to press a button. Ready to go here. Um, is somebody going to open this up for me? EBA, what's going on, bud? Uh, I forgot to get, a, get in the hazardous use. What's the... Um, move left, dunk, jump. Uh, how about interact? Grave, keyboard, look modifier. Yeah, primary, secondary, flashlight. Wasn't there an interact? Reload weapon is R. That's good to know. Beam voice use is E. There we go. All right, let's get my suit here. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system. For All right. In hazardous environment conditions. Awesome. Hold on a second. Audio, MP3 volume, is that uh, sound system for rad tools? Let's bring up the suit some. I don't know if that's like music, MP3 volume. Sound effect volume, we'll bring that up a little bit. Okay. High impact reactive armor activated. Awesome. You too. All right, ready to go. This, this audio simulation results are perfectly acceptable, you know. Really, this audio won't be copyrighted. I can't be bothered right now. Can't be bothered. What's going on with that? Go right on through, sir. Looks Thanks. Like you're in the barrel today. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. We're going in. Access denied. Don't put me in here. See you, crew world. All right, here we go. Remember, we're still in the intro. Nothing's really happened yet. Again, for you guys that have never played Half-Life, or maybe this is the first time you've ever seen Half-Life, this is really the game that was the forefather to all the really cool first-person shooter games with the story and interactivity. <coughs> they kind of pioneered this whole thing. Valve did. Hey, boys. Please leave me alone until after the experiment. Okay, don't get so testy, Ben. Yes. Are you sure you checked the eigen attenuators? 
You better. No. What do you mean no? Who checked them then? What? You're supposed to be in the test chamber half an yeah. hour ago. Yes, yes, yes. I'm getting there. Ah, it's good to see you. Good to see you, Stein. Leave me alone until after the experiment. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Sorry, sir. I've got to stay in my boat. All right. We're almost in. Yeah, what's up? Just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105 percent. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. Bit of a gamble. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. In the test chamber. All right, hold on. I'm I'm getting there. Where's the sample, by the way? I don't see it. All right, let me in. Uh, this. Yeah, and this one doesn't look quite right. Looks a little unstable here, boys. Uh, it's broken. We're not doing this test, right? Tell me, we're not doing this test. All right. Well, I'll go look. I'll go look over here. You guys are busy. Make sure you fix that. All right. Test lab, anybody around? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm kind of busy now. Oh, sorry. Hey, bud. I can't be bothered right now. Oh man, all you guys. So busy working. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. <laughs> I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. I do. He's a highly trained professional. Um, We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Are you sure? Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Great. Let's let him in now. You have confidence in me, but how about the test? You're under investigation. Uh, I don't want to go in there. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Yes, why don't you get it? You know what? I'll give you the suit. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Both you guys. All right, I'm going in. Oh, great. Shut the door on me. Guess I'm going over here then. All right, let's just go up. Yep. Everything seems to be in order. I hear you. Where are you, by the way? All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will should. be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Okay. Well, I'm here. I guess I'll hit the button for you then. Did I hit the button now? Hello? Did I hit the button? Alright, well I guess I got... Alright, alright! Starting a rotor, dang it! Rotor activated! Hey! Activated the rotor! All right. Yep, looks good here. Everything is a okay. Send in the sample. Stage two emitters activating now. Hmm. Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Please work as quickly as you can. Uh. I don't have anything to do. All 
right? Don't dig. Shut it down! Shut it down! Alright, buddy. Uh, this golden one, right? We're supposed to move this, right? Where are you guys? Alright, let's... I guess we'll push this. Uh... Not going in straight. Is that, is that a problem? Alright. Alright, it's not quite straight, though. I'm just saying. Yeah. Alright, I'm going. Uh-oh. Shut it down! Shut it down! I'm out of here. Somebody open the door. Somebody open the door. Uh, not good. Not good. Last night's not working. Not good. Uh oh. Why am I here? I was on the top a minute ago. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. What the? What the heck is that? Uh, seems like we had some problems. Houston, we got some problems here. Where, where is it? Uh huh. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Uh, bad news here, people. Uh oh. Get him fixed up, Doc. Oh, uh, I can't talk to him. I think he's gone. I think he's gone. Uh oh, I turn my flashlight off. I'm running out of power. Oh man, that dude got not good. Not good. Einstein's down all over the place. This is not looking good, people. What the heck? Did he move? Can we go this way? He moved. I thought he moved. Hmm. Uh, I hear something weird. At least this elevator's working. Uh, all right. Why didn't they listen? Yes. It was broken. I I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive. Yeah. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Okay. Yeah, you guys put me in this predicament anyways. Uh, not good. Yeah, not good. Access denied. Come over here, bud. All right. Come on. Hook me up. Get me out of here. Thank y'all. Where's the guy who put me in this mess? It was you, right? Holy smoke. Get out of here! Oh, took some damage on that one. Holy oh, 
gods. Holy gods. You missed. Stinky head crab thing. Uh, crouch, right? Yes. Crouching would be good. Uh, Barney Fife, you got a weapon, bud? Holy gods. Stay down, stay down! Nobody's got a we Ah, first weapon. Alright, I made it. I hear banging all over the place. Okay. Uh, elevator's broke. Uh, doesn't look good. Could have taken the, uh, the ladder. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, my God. Good job. Good job. Uh, I don't remember where it saved it. Good, it, it saved it right here. That's awesome that it auto saves. Yeah, that's pretty bad news. All right, let's make our way up. See if we can't uh, make this jump this time. There we go. What the heck is this guy? Get him! How about a what? Yeah, we got a gun. Yeah, that, that doesn't work very well. And I only had eight shots anyways. Crowbar. Uh, those things are bad. Any more weapons? No, negative. One gun. Uh, is there a button or something over here? There we go. Uh, the science team will help me, huh? Ouch. Some damage. Wow, big, big swipe. Hmm. There was a med kit around here. Yeah, this area right here. Somewhere in here there was a med kit. Alright, fix that soda machine. Be soda for everybody. Sweet. Some ammo. And I thought that there was a healing facility. Yeah, over here, right? There we go. Oh, we didn't get quite full power yet. EP for anybody? Doesn't pay to rush? Alright. Go slower. That's what you're trying to say? Got it, buddy. That's what I want to do is go slower. Pass one? No, I didn't pass one. Maybe pass one back here. Alright, where are we at? Uh, that is the way. Is this the way out? Heck no. 
That actually startled me. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. If you guys like the series, please put a like. If uh, you have any comments, leave the comments in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay on top of all of our latest video releases. I release content almost every day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.